All right, we've been on a 100-hour service schedule for this 915. This has got Kohler, 25 horse. And uh, anyway, we have switched over in the last six or eight months to using the uh, small engine oil from AMS. Um, and it says, as opposed to your usual, um, where are we at? There we go. Service life up to 200 hours. And your traditional conventional oil is a 100 hour service. And it usually looks pretty rough. The oil's dark. So last time I serviced this, so we get down in there. 976 hours with a deer filter. And we're at 1173 so just for some visual math that's 197 hours look at that that looks like 75 hours worth of conventional oil anyway uh, I've been super pleased with how this stuff does so anyway uh, let's get this service finished up and uh, we'll go from there. Just regular maintenance. Um, looks a little darker in person. Um, so there's your deer part number. And at the counter, you're gonna pay $30.03 for it. All these canisters are made by Donaldson. So if you can find somebody that sells real Donaldsons, I got four of them for $76 on the way, but I just had to have one today. So, uh, shop that around a little bit. And then here's something curious. This changed in the last eight months or so. So here's your fuel filter. That says made in Israel. So I just cut this open. And somehow or another, let's see if I can't get the right light on this. Where are we at? Oh, wait, does that say China? Huh. So either the Israelis are packing these in their bags, and this was bought at the dealership. That's supposedly an OE filter. Um, the other thing is, is your deer oil filter, as long as you buy it at the dealership, is gonna run you, whoops, oh gosh. 966. You pick these up at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, you're gonna be into that filter for almost twice that much. I think they're like 17, 18 bucks. So just a little heads up. Let's keep moving. These Denzos have been holding up a lot nicer than the Champions. Um, I don't know how many hours are on these. I'd have to go back and look at the service records. But you know, even if I did them last time, you know, there's 200 hours, bare minimum. So just uh, clean, regap, make sure everything looks tidy. Anyway, let's, uh... <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, man, that oil looks so good. So I'll usually use some bar and chain lube, like some motorcycle chain lube on this stuff, just to make sure that your selector, get that well lubed. And then all your linkage points, where your deck level, especially this. Make sure you get some down in there so it can creep down in. A little bit of spray grease here. I find that the bar and chain loop seems to stick a little bit better and you get less wear and tear with the sticks. You know. All right, I'm gonna swap the delays out on this and uh, we'll be out the door. All right, <clears throat> got everything back together and I do a little extra when it comes to, let's take a look at that. See how clean that is? I actually go back with the Mighty Back Pump and see if I can't suck out any of the last of the old oil. So there's what it looks like when it comes out of the bottle. And there's me after an oil change and a heat cycle. Anyway, I've uh, been super impressed with this. And again, we've been running this, I don't know, eight months, maybe a year now. And the 100-hour oil changes just look freaky clean. 
Uh, this oil really does better than the Kohler oil, um, deer oil, which is, I guess, made to their specifications. Um, Kohler does, and Kohler's the one who actually asked Amsoil to come up with this, keep the lifters a little quieter. Um, and it's, it's sold in the Kohler box with an Amsoil filter and two quarts of the small engine oil. And that's supposed to be, with their fancy filter, it's supposed to be good for a 300 hour service um, and 200 hours if you use the factory filter. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, have a good day.